What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Tank and today I have for you the Lego Creator 3-in-1 set. This is the Caravan Family Holiday set and your main build for this 3-in-1 is what you see here. You get the pretty much like an SUV with a camper towed behind. You get three minifigures. You get three woodland creatures. You get the table picnic area and uh, you get the little kayak and you get the tree. I think this is actually a pretty neat little set for any campground stuff you like to do if you add that to your city. The set does retail for $70, which uh, I'd say it's probably a decent price. $60 probably be a little bit better, but you know, I'd say $7, eh, it's not too bad for what you get. So let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look at everything. And of course, starting out, we always start with that minifigures. Again, you get three of them. You get mom, dad, and you get the kid. Each one of them has this different face, but outfits, you know, looks like dad's all geared up, ready for some fishing. Kid's got, you know, looks like the Benny the Astronaut head there. Looks like he likes space. And mom's, you know, probably got, you know, looks like some... Just like a nice little green jacket on her. And here's the back sides. And of course, like I said, they all each have their own secondary face. Got moms relaxed out in the sun or sitting in the car relaxing with the shades. Simple, you know, dad's yeah, driving face. Yeah, pretty, pretty meh kind of face. And yeah, the kid, he's got a bit of a little bit, a bit of a nervous face on. Probably from the uh skunk that's sitting around. And of course you get back to their mains. Yeah, he's mom, she's happy. And then dad and son are really happy. Get to go fishing, relaxing, maybe have some guide time as mom relaxes in the RV. But uh these are your three minifigures for this set. And for our first, first woodland creature, go ahead and, you know, here's a little pine tree with a blue jay, I believe, sitting on top. Just taking a nice overlook on everything. So, of course, you pop him off, put him anywhere. But, you know, very simple design, pine tree. And, of course, you know, you're... Little blue jay. And then next we have our beaver. Got a nice wide tail there to pat down his dam. Got a stick he's chopping up and his big old buck teeth. Cut through it all. And there's your little beaver friend. And of course the one you want to stay away from the most get your skunk nice little design that they uh, do here with these pieces kind of sucks you can't get a white stripe going down the tail probably could if you painted it but again uh, there's your uh, skunk and of course what's camping that's your picnic table. Now you don't need it, but you know, a nice campsite of a. We'll have one. You got a nice post here. You can set your fish and pull on. Rest this right next to the water. Got some uh, coffee cups and water bottle. Nice little bench to sit on and relax. Enjoy your evening. Let me get your propane tank with skillet. That way you cook up your fish. Nice healthy fish dinner. And of course you get your kayak here. Custom built kayak you build with the set. Just for uh 
the main camper said though. Now we can go uh, sightseeing down the river. I don't keep dropping everything. And it does have, you know, the these bricks here stick out a little bit. That way, you know, it kind of gives the illusion it's floating on water. And of course, up first, we will have a look at the mode of transportation. You have your nice little car here. SUV or uh, yeah, pretty much like an SUV or crossover. Had some nice doors open up on either side. Manual transmission, which uh, not a lot of people in America know how to use. And then you have some pull on the side, trunk space here. That way, if you catch the skunk, you get some uh, prison bars you can't get out. <laughs> but overall, uh, nice little build here. Top here, pop off. That way you can seat your nice family and have them be on their way. Touches I like are the, uh, you know, orange indicators on the side here. You got your windshield wipers. No license plate, though. I should probably get that taken care of. But overall, uh, I do like this little car. I get your uh, kayak right on top there, along with your paddle. Easy storage. Pretty, uh, pretty nice interior, and that is your uh, SUV or crossover. And of course, can't go camping without the camper. Pretty good sized camper. You got some storage here up front. You got a camera. Save your uh, memories. And again, there's some money. Got, got to develop that film somehow. And you can pop the side open. And there you go. Some easy access along with taking off the top. So you got your uh, bathroom. Plenty of toilet paper. Definitely needed nowadays. You got your sink. Got your uh, stove here. You got some seating areas. And these can fold upwards because it's your seating here along with... Nice table to eat at. Of course, fold it up. That way you can gain access to the bathroom or your storage there in the back. Bring it on around. Got a nice end table there. And, of course, the sleeping area. I don't know how three people are going to sleep there, but I guess they'll find a way out. Of course, you got your door to go in and out. And of course, if you don't decide, you know, take the car, go somewhere, you have here on the bottom two different landing gears. That way it will set up nicely and not fall over. And then here on the side, you got your awning that will come on down and give you some shade either from... The rain, where if you want to watch the rain, or you know, say shade from the sun. But overall, you know, pretty nice build. Then you get your roof access, and on the roof, there's really, really not a whole lot. It's what you get on the roof. Get little control panel, probably for AC and whatnot. You have your little window for some air to get inside, and uh, of course, you got your satellite. Gotta have your satellite TV when you're camping. Can't miss those games. And of course, I didn't say, there's your TV right in there. Small little bugger. But, you know, overall, uh, 
Nice build, very solid build. And I did buy another one to do one of the secondary builds, which is just the mobile home itself. Which is this right here. This is one of the secondary builds. Up top you have your reclining area. And here, this will pop off, or pop up. You have your access to one of the beds up top. Uh, more of this will pop off, like this here. Completely comes out. That way you gain access to your driver's seat. Of course, even more of this will pop off, like so. It's only held on. Here and here, and these points here, pretty much, to gain full access to your interior. So you have right here, little, got your light. See what you're doing at your kitchen sink. You got a little mini fridge here, filled with drinks. Where you drink some food, if it'll open up. Got your TV, have your little sectional couch right there. So plenty of relaxation while on the go. And of course your entrance. Well, the only thing that sucks about this, of course it's a significantly smaller build and you get a lot of leftover pieces. Everything in here is leftovers. A lot of it, so yeah, you did there's the money. Don't use any of this on the secondary or your third build. So you, that's why I like the main builds, you use everything. These second builds you waste a lot. But I still do like this camper and pop everything back together. Uh, maybe the only thing I'd say about it is make it, I would probably make it for, if possible, you know, make it a little bit longer to get a second bed in or something. And utilize more of the extra pieces. But otherwise, you know, it's still not, you know, not a terrible build. I'd not recommended to do what I did and buy a second one just to build this. Because you're going to have a lot of wasted pieces. Uh, but if you have a lot of extra pieces, I'd say do it. That way you can build the lighthouse too. Because a lot of... Should probably have it say half the lighthouse and extras maybe. But uh, otherwise I do like this because you get all these windows all around to see what's going on. That way, you know, mom and dad down here, kid can be up here just watching the road go by. Or, you know, mom can take a nap, read a book and still see what's going on. Their mom can drive, dad can be up here snoozing away. But uh, overall, I like both the builds. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on it. Which one do you like most? Would you like to have maybe a camper camper? Where this camper hauls around this camper? That'd be cool. Good. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think. I think that's funny. Let me guys know what you think in comments. Are you guys going to get this set? If you enjoyed the video of course give it a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video over and out